Hi everyone, Blake Jones here. In this episode of How Do You Do That, we're going to use the magic mask function in Resolve 17 to create a depth of field effect. So what we have here is we have the shot of the bride, and what we're going to do is we've already applied a basic color correction in the first node. So what I'm going to do is apply a second node here, and now what we do is we want to add the magic mask function here. So we just create a strike there by holding down the left mouse button and drawing a line. Then we can come over here to show the mask function. So as you can see, that's what it was created just by looking at that uh, strike that I made. And then I can click on the forward here to track that forward. So as you can see, that part is already done. Now we want to go back and do the beginning of the shot. So we can come over here and just track it backwards now. Now the green check indicates that the shot has been completely tracked from start to finish. So we can turn off now the mask function here, and then we can turn off the stroke. And then what we do here is just deselect show strokes. Okay, now that that's done, what we can do next is add another node, but instead of doing it the normal way, we right mouse click on node number two, select add node, and then select add outside. So as you can see, you have the function here. This is the separation for her. And then if I look at this one, this will show me the opposite. So then this allows me now that I can apply the blur control. And this will allow me to create a depth of field. So it allows the viewer to focus on this particular person. And since we've tracked it from start to finish, it will automatically track with all of her movements there. Now, as you can see, we just want to sharpen up, or actually, we want to um, soften up the transition points there. So what we do next is we come back to Magic Mask, and then just take the Blur Radius function here, and just turn that up a bit. And then it gives us a much more softer transition. So this gives a great way, so when you're working on a project and you want to focus your attention onto a particular person, you can use this function for it. You can also use a power window as well. Using a circular power window, defocus on the outside is another method for doing this as well. So there we have it. So for more tips and tricks like this, don't forget to have a look at the other videos on our YouTube channel. And for more information about training services, have a look in the comments below. Thanks and have a great day.